What's up guys, Nerdy Noob here and welcome to day 14 of Vlogmas. I just realized that I totally just like, oh there's a shipping label behind me. I totally just like didn't end the vlog yesterday. So I didn't do advent calendars, but I also, I live stream until like midnight. It was pretty late. It was a pretty epic live stream. It was super fun. Um, I'm in the process of shipping all of the people who want to be shipped right away. I am in the process of taking care of that right now. I had some work this morning. I'm doing a half day today. So I worked um, a couple hours this morning and then I have work a couple hours later tonight. But until that happens, I'm going to try to pack I'm gonna see if I can try to pack all of these things and drop them off at the post office by five, which is very slim pickings, because it's already three, four, five. I don't think I'm gonna make it, but I'm gonna try. And then I need to, I was gonna go to the card shop because I need to buy more top loaders and more bags because I've used up a lot of my stuff. Um, at some point you go to Sam's Club to buy more Sharpies and bubble wrap. This is my last roll of bubble wrap, although I'm not planning on doing a whatnot auction yet because I need to buy more boxes. I actually, these are the only boxes I have left for Funko Pops, so it's not that many. I need to order more boxes from Uline, so I think I'll hold off on buying Funko Pops until then. I have a, a pleasant surprise. I got a shipping notification today. Um, I follow Deerium's Pokemon. I've followed them on YouTube for a while now. And a, um, you guys know, as I've been doing these live pack breaks, that I haven't had any Vivid Voltage because it's really hard to get. Um, I actually purchased a couple live pack breaks from them because I'm, you know, collecting the set. I don't know if they've already done it or not, but uh, I can't wait till that happens. But they also were selling um, just Vivid Voltage booster packs. Not a booster box, but you could buy, um, I think they're loose packs. So things from collection boxes or from sleeves and stuff. And so I actually bought a ton of those. I didn't realize. I didn't realize how much I had purchased from them. So uh, I do have some Vivid Voltage coming in, which is exciting. So we'll do, we'll use that for some live pack breaks as well in the future. But I'm gonna keep um, doing this and probably get something to eat because I'm a little bit hungry and then we'll see how it goes. I'll, oh, and we have to do advent calendars and I need to edit a lot of videos. I just have so much I need to do. I, uh, winter break, I have all the days off. And because of COVID and, and the Bay Area being in lockdown, this is so terrible. Because the Bay Area is in lockdown, it means that I can't make any plans. I have to stay home all the time. So that means one, a lot of pack breaks, maybe even daily pack breaks, and two, time to just catch up on things without really hopefully having to deal with work or anything. In theory, hopefully. We'll see how that goes. But yeah, I'm really, really excited about it. I'm really excited about it. Um, I just realized I need to go find Mac. I think he went outside today and I haven't seen him. I haven't seen him for a little bit. So I'm gonna go find Mac really quick. Okay, false alarm, I found Mac. He's been sleeping on my bed. I went to go snuggle with him and then of course Cube came in and was crying and then laid on top of me and I was like, Mac, I'm sorry, I'll leave you alone. Uh, can I guys can I show you guys something crazy? So I've, I'm in the process of shipping and I've had a lot more international shippers I you guys know if you watch my live stream I changed up the way that I do my um, Ordering I used to or I used to like put together bundles and then have shipping connected to it But it really sucked for the international people because you basically could only buy one bundle because you need to pay like $20 worth of shipping So I changed it where you could add as many packs as you want throughout the night And then if you wanted me to ship your cards right away You could buy the shipping option which it sounds like for international it worked out better Here's the thing that I found I kind of the way that I did shipping I did it by weight right and so for international in order to get the USPS First class international which is the $22.80 it has to be at least I think 12 ounces it might even need to be 13 13 it's got to be it's got to be a pound or more it's basically gotta be more than a pound isn't that crazy if it's less than a pound then you have to use like DHL and it, t it costs like $36 so for the people who like bought international what I've been doing is putting the cards in a tin adding a few extra homemade packs and then putting it in a box and wrapping it with bubble wrap so that it, it equals 13 ounces or more so that I can get the 2280. Is that crazy? That in order to get the better deal, you have to have more weight? That just seems so odd to me, but that's what we're doing. So I just wanted to point that out because I thought that was crazy, but I'm glad that the new way is, I think is working out better for, for most people. And um, it's a little bit more challenging in regards, especially because some people bought a bunch of cards and then they bought shipping later, but I'm able to like look at my unfulfilled orders in by name order. So that helps. So I can like see all the orders that they made throughout the night. Uh, the one thing I, I it's harder is for me to track 
to make sure like as I'm going down who I'm supposed to be shipping to. But luckily I can see some of the shipping information on, on the list. So anyways, I just wanted to point that out because I thought that was crazy. It was just crazy. Cube is playing with something. All right, I'll talk to you guys in a little bit. Oh, I'm doing a terrible job of vlogging. I packed almost all of the cards. Sorry, Andrew and Venus. I couldn't get your guys' done because yours, you guys have so many cards that they're not going to fit in the regular purple envelope. So um, I have to do the flamingo envelope and that takes a little bit more time. So I packed everyone else's cards and I got them shipped out today. And then Andrew and Venus, I'll get theirs shipped out tomorrow. I went to my local card store because uh, if you guys saw the live stream, I started running out of things. So I got new top loaders. These they changed the um they went to cardboard gold. I think he's always had it, but I usually get Ultra Pro. My battery is running out. Luckily, I just pulled a fresh battery from the charger. Anyways, yeah, so I went to the card store. Um he has these new top loaders. I was worried that they were going to be too tight. You guys know sometimes I get the top loaders and the cards don't fit, but I just did a test and they work great. Um I also got more card sleeves, the penny sleeves. Again, um, these are now cardboard gold, so hopefully those are as good as Ultra Pro. Ultra Pro was the one that I was using before. Um, I got a couple extra cases. I'm going to sell some of the code cards I have, and I thought it'd be cool to put them in these little cases. These are like 70 or 80 cents. Not too bad. I uh, probably don't need those. I got more graded card sleeve bags because I've been running low. I just opened up my, brand, my last bag. And then I also bought one of these comic book bags. Um... These are really giant. They don't have any, he didn't have anything in between. I need to search to see, cause I know like po Pokey Rev and stuff, like he uses bags that are like this, but a little bit bigger um, because these don't fit that many cards. So I'm in search if anyone has any ideas. And then he also had a couple of these uh, building battles. These were so expensive. I'm pretty sure he almost doubled. I think normal price is what? Uh, $25 for these. This was $50. So I got, um, one, I got two of them actually, sorry, uh, cause I'm trying to get the promo cards in here. There's four promo cards that you can get in these, but I hope I can get like a Charizard in this and then I can just buy the other promo cards online in order to get the whole set. But I think that's all I got. Hopefully this is enough top loaders. I think it'll be okay for now. I bought a few collection boxes from him because I'm now running low on Pokemon cards after my big live stream. Um, but... It sucks because he upcharged, again, all of his collection boxes. I could tell that he increased the prices on some of them. So I still like to shop local, but um, especially because, honestly, like, you can't find cards right now at Target. It just still sucks because, like, some of the boxes that used to be, like, $15.99 are now $20, $20. Or things that were $20 are now $25. So we'll see. I, I'm still trying to support the local shops, though, because it makes me feel good about myself. And... You know, it's better. It's better. I'd rather support local. I almost bought a, um, he had a booster box of Darkness Ablaze and he increased the price on that as well because everyone knows that Darkness Ablaze has increased significantly since it first came out. So, and he's already been higher. His price point was already way higher than everyone else. And so then he made it even higher. So, but that's okay. Again, whatever you need to do to survive. Um, I still buy things online, but I, I do buy a lot, like, I buy a lot of my supplies from him. So he did increase some of the prices, um, but nothing too crazy. And again, I can get him quickly, so that's nice. All right, I have a work meeting. It's, uh, 6.16. I have a work meeting that starts at 7, and so I'm gonna prep for that. And hopefully it doesn't go too long, because, uh, maybe I'll try to eat something really quick. I haven't eaten in a while. Amy came over to pick up a few things. I found out today when it showed up that I, uh, I have HelloFresh, but I never canceled it, but I, like, canceled a bunch of weeks, but apparently I didn't cancel this week because the HelloFresh meal showed up today on my doorstep, and I was like, oh, no, so I'm gonna put that in the fridge, and hopefully I'll actually, like, make it, because I honestly have only cooked, like, two meals probably in the past, like, four months. I, Amy usually gets all my meals. I'm like, Amy, just come over and take these meals, um, so she's been eating. I basically been buying meals for Amy for the past months and months and months. Although I have canceled a bunch of weeks. Um, okay, well, let's see how this goes, shall we? We need to do advent calendars. I need to edit all the vlogs. It's not stressing me out, I just feel bad because I have all the stuff. I just need to edit them. And it's not even gonna be hard to edit. It's not like I do crazy things that need a lot of editing. It's like just straight, it's pretty straightforward. So I just need to do it. So I'm gonna try to do that tonight just to do it and get it done with and, and upload them and then 
Um, I have one more video I need to edit. That's a long one, but I need to edit it so I can post it. And then I have a bunch of other videos that I want to film. I just haven't done it yet. So, <sighs> we'll see. We shall see. Okay, I'm going to do some things now.